Hello and welcome to this week's video. I've got a blocked nose. I'm not sure why. No other symptoms. Hopefully not anything serious. Not naming any names. Um, I'm joking, I feel totally fine. I'm just, uh, just got a bit of a blocked nose. We are going to a show today. Another one. So you will have hope you will have seen Monday's vlog, which was Zora's first show ever. She's been to lots of arena hires now, so it's not like she's just coming fresh out of my arena and going to a show. What's going on? Come on, drive back. Pay attention. But we are going today to a different venue. We're going to a place called Kiso, which is in Bedfordshire. And we are, I'm just trying to load the lorry unsuccessfully there. We are competing in a young horse class. So there is a really cool new, um, what are they called? Are they a company? I guess so. And they are organizing a young horse series in the UK. So, um, there used to be lots of young horse classes organised by the governing bodies, so British show jumping, British dressage, British eventing, but these are different to those. These are organised by a company called Next Gen, and um, yeah, today we are going to one of the qualifiers at Kiso. As you can see, I'm just loading the lorry. Well, Megan is very, very helpfully loading the lorry with me. I got here and she's basically done most of it, so that's really good. Um, I could do with my hat bag. No. no. Possibly. No. No, I don't. That's a stupid question. No. Anyway, as I was saying, um, these are, it's a new young horse series and we're going for the four year old dressage class. Um, and I'm quite excited, I'm quite nervous actually. I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, because well, I didn't, my dinner was not very carb heavy last night and then I woke up this morning and I feel very empty and I'm not very good at eating before I go to shows. I've got a smoothie to drink. <sighs> but yeah, I'm a bit quite nervous just as is, you know, just the way it goes, isn't it? One does tend to get nervous in these situations. So yeah, we'll just go, do our best, and that'll be that. So I've just got to plat, and then we're gonna go. Um, yes. Megan's done a huge amount of organizing, so I don't have that so much to do with clean attack yesterday, bath yesterday, that kind of thing. So yeah, just time for grooming and platting. All plaited. Zora, put your little, beautiful little head up. Not my finest. This, no forelock for Zora, apparently. Oh, come on. That is the worst plait I've ever done in my whole life. We need to redo that. Look at you, you beautiful thing. She is such a model, this horse. Oh my goodness. Ready. Such a good little baby horse. And looking so slim. I just said to Megan that I was really nervous and she Googled no, how to beat nerves. So let's go through the process. Come on, let's do this. Number one, breathe. Okay. And hell, I have a blood nose. <laughs> okay. Number two, admit that you're anxious or angry. I am very nervous. <laughs> Number three, challenge your thoughts. We are going for experience. 
cry to your anger. Visualize yourself being calm. Like visualize yourself in a bath, relaxing with some candles. That would be weird. I'd may stop driving the lorry. <laughs> uh, and that visualization is actually something that I'm not very good at, and I need to practice. I went to a talk with that Charlie Upwin. He's a sports psychologist, and he talked about visualization and how you have to picture it going well have to envisage like watching it on a television screen almost mm. I find it so hard my mind gets very busy and then I can't finish like then we were just running through my test just now before we started recording and I was saying to Meg that I, I start in one arena and I'm visualizing myself riding in one arena and then I'm in a different arena and I often I'm drawn back to my old arena where I used to be my friend Bronte's yard that I used to rent and it gets quite confusing because that arena is almost the wrong way around in the sense of anyway it's complicated but it's yeah it's, it's that visualization I struggle with and I definitely need to improve on it and I want to seek some help about it I said after regionals that I was going to and I haven't so yeah. is there anything else that they recommend? Um, think it through was number six uh, number seven was listen to music and eight was change your focus. Oh, I was like distraction. Mm. Yeah, well, we can try to do some visual visualization, I think, of it as I'm driving. I think that's going to be good. And then we can put some music on and have a sing along and distract you. <laughs> necessary and um, so we've got the young event horse um, qualifiers going on here today as well which is really cool so I'll show you guys all of that so this is a really amazing <laughs> thank you new um, setup it's been uh, created by a couple of different people um, and it's it, I think it's going to be very very popular the um, all of the like the setup is really designed to be inclusive for the young horses. They've got young pony classes as well, um, and it's it's all new. So it's they uh, got very good prize money, that kind of thing. And um, there's a final at Hickstead uh, for show jumping. You don't have to qualify. You can just go straight to Hickstead. You have to have jumped. I think two discovery rounds. You don't have to have jumped double clear or anything like that at four year old level. We're not ready yet for that. And I don't think we would be by the time the show comes around, it's in September. Um, but for dressage, you know, the test is quite simplistic and very encouraging. So I'm quite looking forward to riding it. Um, we, we're indoors. Again, another first for Zora. Um, I mean, a lot of it is very fresh and new for her anyway, so I'm not too worried. Oh, something on my lovely shirt. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. You know, it's going to be spooky and wibbly wobbly, and that's absolutely fine. So we just go with it and ride forwards and smile. And everybody's probably in a similar boat, you know. I went and had a look around, and there are some four-year-olds that do look pretty established, but we're just we're just here to have give the experience and here to show off my lovely four-year-old who I'm very proud of. Meg redid her plait in our lovely Equitex. Love these new fluffy boots we've got. But I fancy. Good girl. Sweet girl.
Oh dear. I've not been sick in a very long time. Wow. That's in a lot of banners in her lifetime. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's nice that they get to trot yeah. round fast. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Welcome back to dressage test voiceovers with Miriam. Um, so as you can see, she firmly got over her spooking at the Bailey's horse feed sign. So that was good. I think that was a pretty bright yellow one. I was somebody talking to somebody in the warm up and they had similar problems. But I was so pleased with actually, I've watched this back now and it's funny when I rode it, I was like, goodness gracious, felt so wobbly. But actually when I've watched it back, it's just, well, some really lovely parts. Yeah, it's a bit, bit lucky and that kind of thing, but I mean, to be expected, suddenly there's a judge's, but she's never been in an indoor arena, and actually the only time she's been in this indoor arena, which she has actually been in once before, was when she went through the sails, and she was chased around with lunge whips, as they do. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think she'd actually have a memory of it. It would look very different now, but uh, still, it's quite quite an interesting thought that she has been in here and it was very high energy when she was so I was so pleased with how the trot felt it felt really fluid and through in her body and uh, she just moves so well it's so lovely to ride such a talented little horse a little bit of medium trot here and you can see she just is really trying I put my leg on and I say go and she's like okay I'll give it a give it a try and then I ask her to come back a little, and she does, and, you know, the bend is improving, and I was, I was really pleased with how forward I was. Um, I, that was like a little goal of mine, to kind of keep it fluid and forward, and that was, yeah, I think I achieved that, so I was very pleased. She actually received a 7.8, or 7.9, I can't remember, for her trot, so they mark you out of 10 per each kind of uh, pace. So walk, trot, canter, and then ride ability and general impression. Um, our general impression was a little low because, well, she was a bit spooky. But, um, yeah, I, I felt the trot work at the beginning was lovely. And I really liked the way that this test was laid out. So you do your trot and you kind of get all the way around the arena, both reins, circling, medium trots, those kind of things. And then you get to do your walk, and this was nice. I found she was a little bit distracted, and not not as kind of slow and maybe fluid as she could be, but at the same time she was trying super hard to stay with me and stay being obedient. I mean, she could have done some jazzy moves because there was a lot going on. There were horses on the other side of the judges' box. You can see the judge sitting behind C, so the warm-up is just on the other side. Um... And I liked that in this test, there's a lot of walk in the sense of 
you do your medium walk, you do your free walk, and then you medium walk all the way up to the neck, this marker, and she here was just a little bit on the spooky side, just started looking at that yellow banner again, but I just kind of, I kind of just managed it, we did a little deviation off the track, but at the same time she stayed obedient, so here was my slightly non-existent canter transition, and then she struck off disunited behind, which I think is quite impressive to do. And then she did a half a change, and so thankfully the balance was there. Um, and actually the canter was better when I went into my medium canter, so here is a bit of medium canter down the long side, and she came back to me and actually was really super there. I think, look, it's a bit kind of, the wheels are a little bit falling off because I'm having to go around a corner and it's all a bit fast and a bit difficult. But she came back, she trotted, I mean it was wibbly wobbly, but there we are. There's, it's not going to be perfect, this is day two show, so especially when I was had been feeling so worried. I actually felt once I was in the test that I wasn't so anxious. Left canter was better, left canter is always better, left rain is her better rain. Probably my better rain too. And I just came away from the track here, I just rode tactfully because I knew that she might yeah lose her balance a bit and so that's what happened and that's okay so i cantered a bit i trotted a bit early after the canter but you know i was kind of going for a successful feeling at this point and then i had to ride some stretchy trots so from my previous show that was super successful up the years come and it just when i had let go of her you know i had kind of gone okay now stretch and she wasn't feeling totally secure about the banner just the wheels fell off a little bit and it's totally okay and she is allowed to wobble like that and you know it shows that she's got something about her she's not dead behind the eyes and she's a smart clever little horse but the fact that she like finished the way she finished and still comes and does something really fancy down the center line is lovely the whole thing is not perfect but not terrible either To be expected to be super wobbly inside in that big environment indoors um, I was actually pretty pleased with her considering I mean we did some disunited cantering and wobbling and not quite going where we were meant to but for all intensive purposes she was very good and she tried very very hard she's very new never been in an indoor school before well actually she has been in an indoor school the last time she was here at this show center she was in an indoor school being chased around at 100 miles an hour let me hold her being chased 100 mile an hour in her sails this was where i bought her from the sails so oh hate them plants <laughs> don't do that it's not a great habit to get into is it well at least they stayed in pretty well mm. only one of them started coming out a little bit then anyway very pleased with her and um i mean i i potentially i'm going to come last um there were some very 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 nice horses and oh she is a very nice horse she's just very green still and i mean there were some and you wouldn't believe they were four if you had to guess you'd say maybe seven so um hmm, yeah we're here for experience i've got to keep reminding myself that and i've got to be reminded of that mate when yes. i start being horrible to myself when i get 25% so I don't even know how they score it I think they score it differently like for the walk and the trot and the canter so who knows maybe maybe they really liked the bits I did do well but yeah pleased with her pleased with how she dealt with it she was better in the warm-up today than she was at Berry Farm are you a good girl I need to take this coat off before I die of heat exhaustion and maybe now eat something seeing as I decided throwing up was a good idea that was weird I've not thrown up in years years anyway Something to think about anyway. Barkies. Good girl. She's got that post plat perm going on. I quite like her with a curly mane. Anyway, let's go and put her away, stick her boots on, and then I might have to go and be on camera. I don't know. I've been asked. Oh, she just needs sponging on that side. Right, let's go and find some scores, shall we? Um, we're here for experience. I'm just gonna keep saying. 
We're here for experience. Let's go this way, Meg. If you've got my phone, then we can get some food as well. I can just pay on that. So she came sixth and we got a final score of 7.12. So if you imagine that that was out of 10, then that would be where we're at. So each mark, so you've got your walk, oh, I'm not filming the right thing, walk, trot and canter and ride ability, general impression. So we received a 7.1 for the walk, 7.9 for the trot, which is very good, 6.8 for the canter because it was wobbly as crikey and a seven for her rideability and then a 6.8 for the general impression that generally means was it successful and it obviously was quite wobbly so yes very pleased really happy with her and yeah we're just going to um watch a bit more of what's going on so we've got the is this still the four-year-old young event horse so these are the four-year-olds going around and they have to jump some quite scary looking jumps in my book, but that's because I don't do eventing. Eventers are much braver than dressage riders and show jumpers. So again, each, each um, section will be judged on different things as such. So they will have the similar sort of judging, the rideability, that kind of thing. And then they will also have shape over fence. Um, quality of canter like the gallop that kind of thing because it's a young event horse class so yeah it's really good I think it's it's been I'm really pleased with Zora we didn't come last Woo. and um so much it's, I'm looking forward to seeing my sheet and seeing the judges comments and yeah generally excited for other young horse classes in the future so a bit more ground cover in the free walk I'd say that's very fair good rhythm with secure connection in the trot Oh, more secure connection even. Good rhythm. She has got good rhythm. We we like that part. Distracted. Yeah, spooking. <laughs> and the first canter was absolutely not on the right canter lead. More control yet to develop. Some, what's that one? Oh, this is the right ability. And general impression. More time in the arena and development of canter. Um, my name is Miriam Hackett and I am here riding in the four-year-old young dressage horse class today. My horse, uh, her name is Lazora, and I actually in fact bought her from an auction at Kiso last year. Uh, I in fact produced her myself and somebody just knocked down a flag, sorry, easily distracted. Um, I bought her last year and I've produced her myself and uh, I'm very excited about her. She has very good dressage bloodlines. She, um, on the mother side, uh, the sire is Ferro, which is very good dressage bloodline, so I'm really excited about that side of things. She also does show jump, but we're not quite ready for that side of things yet, so we're doing some best side. We wobbled our way around today, and we actually were placed sixth uh, in our class, and we got an overall score of 7.1, which is really, I'm really pleased about, because she got some lovely, encouraging comments from the judge, and I found the test, it was, it was great for a four-year-old that was a bit spooky, because I could still complete all of the movements, nothing came up too quickly, and it was generally really encouraging for a horse of her type, who is, this is actually only her second show, so I was very, very impressed. First time in an indoor arena, first time at Kiso, other than when she went through the sale, and yeah, I found, I thought the test was brilliant. And um, how is it having the all the disciplines, so you've got eventing going on at the moment, and dressage, you know, how, how, how? I think, I actually think, or in the purposes of producing young horses, this is brilliant because a lot of young horses move around early on in their career and being able to have the event horses in one place, the dressage horses and the show jumping when that is also going on at the same time as the final, for a scout or somebody looking to purchase a young horse, this is a perfect place to start doing business because everybody's here all at once. Quite nice doing a little interview all about this young horse series that the uh, next gen are running. I think it's really good and I was saying um, it's a great place to come and see young horses if you're looking to buy a horse or come and see like where the standard is at for them. Um, a bit less wobbly than Zora is probably where it's at at the moment. Uh, I was just, it's just been a lovely day and lovely to come and see what it's all about and have a go and I think the, the way that they've done it is very... 
uh, like inclusive. Um, I was in a class of professionals and okay, yes, I ride horses for a living, but I don't have a big yard full of multitude of four year olds. You know, I've got one and I'm trying to, trying to be up there. So it was, it all felt very kind of for the young horse in mind, um, which is very, very important. Top of the list, really. Horse first, sport second. So the test was encouraging, even when it all went a bit wibbly wobbly. Megan's hot. Sorry, sorry. Um, even when it all went wibbly wobbly, I was still able to complete the test. Like it wasn't like there was suddenly then something on top of me that I had to get done, which is very important when you're riding a four year old because what you don't want to do is have to put pressure on them to make something complicated in the test happen you want to be able to give them a pat go around a corner and then do the next thing and that's exactly what that test did which i think is very important and i could see the you know we were talking about the way that the the young event horse class was built it looked very encouraging the fences were all you know you had some oxes with cross poles in front that kind of thing to really encourage the horse to kind of get started and get going and then towards the end of the course they put in some trickier tests but all in all, I think it's it's been wonderful, and I can't comment on what the, like the upper the upper levels, but actually the four year old sections, I think next gen have nailed it, really really good. I'm excited. I'm going to try and get to another qualifier with Zora towards the end of August, um, and it will be exciting to see everybody again and then see how she gets on. I'm going to drive home now, and I'll see you when we're back at the yard. You're always so pleased to see me when we get back, Ralphie. Do your funny thing. Do your funny thing. No. Come here. Yes. Like this. <laughs> you are the cutest and the one. Don't need a lead. Just need a finger. Just need a finger. <laughs> Lost my mind. Just got back. So I had a little wash. She's going to go out in the field for the afternoon. I've got to exercise a lot of horses now. Like, a lot. So, I'm just going to get started and get on with it. But, um, I'm going to stop this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. I, well, I need to do some work on me. I had an interesting conversation with my friend Millie on the way back. And we were talking about why we get so anxious. <laughs> and, because obviously, I was sick. Like, I was that anxious, I was sick, and um, I I don't want to be, but actually, I can't obviously help it some of the time. And I think we, we were talking about how it's because it means so much to us, and that's why we end up feeling like that. So, yeah, there we go. It's kind of what happens, right? I was pleased that I managed to get on and carry on and do a good job. Uh, and I was so pleased with how Zora performed. Okay, yeah, she was spooky. But I was, that was to be expected, new venue, second ever show, and it was all for the experience and definitely did gain experience. So I'm really pleased. I'm gonna see you guys for next time, I guess. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe maybe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I will see you all for next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.